Combine latest, or please learn programming and build a visual programming language. Yeah, you can graduate high school without mastering programming, sure. But if you do, you will be forced to work under the threat of hunger and homelessness every day of your life. College will not help you. They'll just take your savings and force you into loans. And free college and university are not any better. They'll take your time instead. You need true power in your mind, one that works, that you know is yours to keep, and that creates results. And that is computer programming. The first thing you learn is that memorization is not education. You need to dream, imagine, invent, relax, adventure and practice programming daily, on paper or with a keyboard, by writing ever larger little programs. We are about to talk about a function from RxJS, a toolkit for data processing that is kind of hard to understand. Learning programming by starting with RxJS could be considered a kind of an assault. But we will talk about just one function, Combine Latest. The authors of RxJS don't call it a function, however. They call it an operator, and I like that a lot. Please, this is not an RxJS tutorial. I just explained the dynamics of one of their functions that is just really useful. My aim is to encourage you to learn JavaScript programming so that you can create a browser-based visual programming environment and set yourself free from poverty in just a couple of years. We are also not doing conventional programming anymore. Times have changed. AI does conventional programming now. The old way still has its place, oh yes it does, but as tiny, isolated functions, or as Rx very neatly calls them operators. The reason or evidence for the change is that people use programming frameworks, which exposes that everyone has trouble with keeping track of things. It is not related to intelligence, we're all equally smart. It's related to life. It's related to meeting deadlines. We just don't have the time to imagine our programs as multidimensional cities. If we can't program vanilla, we sure as sunshine will never be able to comprehend our program structure. Because it is not really our own, it belongs to a framework that shouldn't sit between us and our creations. And please, do not underestimate the uniqueness of our minds. We each have a way to look at programming, and that is the way we should also program. It's our own unique way of navigating complexity. If you hand that to someone else, you will not be able to read your own programs. Now, Combine Latest accepts data from multiple sources that you should imagine as pipes. Think communication cables. You will need this for the design of your own visual programming language. Combine Latest combines the latest value arriving from each of those pipes and then sends the combined data through its output port. Please be aware that in order for it to know when to start sending out the combined data, it needs to know how many pipes are stuck into it. And it must wait, 
It must wait until data comes from every one of those pipes. If you got three pipes stuck into your combined latest, it will never send data out from just one or two pipes. Combine latest will wait for all three to bring data in. It combines the latest values from each of its inputs and sends it along as its own output. Practical use. You have three web pages that you are waiting for to load. Each of them will send you status information, either page loading or page ready. And you want to check if all pipes are ready before you send out an action to let your application move on to the next step. 1. You will never be bothered with empty values, null or undefined. Combined latest waits for real data. Once you start getting status information, it will be either page loading or finally page ready. JavaScript has an every function that can be applied to an array. You can run that over across all the status information you get. And when all status reports page ready, then the every function will return true. Otherwise, it's always false. Remember, you will be notified as each pipe sends in actual data, a non-undefined, non-null value. And that is the perfect time to check if every status page is ready. And that is when you will output some action packet that will then be interpreted into a command down the pipe work. I would wait for web pages to extract data from them. So the action would be Everything is loaded. Start data extraction. If any of this has made sense to you, that's really good. But my goodness, you should never need such an explanation. Look at RxJS combined latest documentation to see just how big this disaster is. Neither the neatly written single sentence explanation explains very much because it's introducing new concepts, nor is the marble diagram very helpful. Frankly, it's scary. It's certainly not useful for a cheerful person having a nice afternoon with their cat and hoping to go on a walk later. Which brings us to visual programming, where, incredibly, you wouldn't ever need an explanation for what Combine Latest does. You could see it with your own eyes. This is actually somewhat similar to when a computer player looks to upgrade their character and they look through a list of kung fu moves. They get to see a preview of how everything works and you would get to see a demo of Combine Latest where you could study all the details about it before choosing to drop it on your scene or into your workflow. See. Part of what visual programming languages do is show you how data flows by animating all the packets on your screen, showing you where all the marbles are flowing. If you were shown three pipes connected to combine the latest, slowly sending their packets, you would immediately notice that when the first packet arrives, Combine Latest doesn't do anything. And the same goes for the second packet. You'd easily see that Combine Latest activates when all the packets arrive. It waits for all of them before combining them and then passing them along as one. This is not a computer game approach to learning programming. This is advanced programming. 
Listen, even if you don't end up using your own visual programming environment, you still learn. You learn so much. And learning Rx, functional programming, and reactive programming is almost the least of it because you've learned how to build an inspiring application. A year of poking around at responsible visual programming, perhaps in the back of your high school classes, will have you come up with a plan on how to build your own visual programming application. I don't want you to wait for good visual programs. I need you to make one yourself. I need you to understand that it is just boxes with ports and the ports connect with lines. And the boxes, of course, represent operators like Combine Latest. Learn JavaScript, use the Bootstrap CSS framework for user interface and even Windows, use SVG for lines, and use the agent model as a replacement for Rx. Just ask the AI to give you a JavaScript version of Erlang's OTP framework and know that you are just sending and receiving data between objects. But you don't use addresses. The pipes pass the packets for you, so you just send through an output port and the pipe connected there will deliver your data to wherever it's going. Please do not wait for the era of visual programming languages. Use the opportunity that that era has not yet arrived. And don't just master a truly powerful and beautiful kind of programming. But instead of paying for college or university, license your software to them for fees proportionally as high as those that they would have charged you if you continued trusting them. Mark my words, the era of visual programming languages is coming because the AI can easily generate any kind of operator or small function that you could possibly wish for. Code will move away from state management flow patterns and questionably useful frameworks that only sit between you and your invention to visual flows that you can animate and watch and enjoy in your debugger. Packets or marbles that anybody can track by just watching them flow and transform through all the pipes and operators.